I will install Fedora in the virtual machine so I can record it. With every version of Fedora, you always have installation shortcut either on your desktop or as a script. After you start the installation, installer will ask you for a few questions like language, installation disk, host name, username and password, and then installation process begins. This video I will be covering only things that I think are missing from basic installation and all the configuration and additional software is personal preference and won't be part of this video. Now you can just restart the machine and then when you log in let me just clean up this desktop a little. First thing before everything else I install micro editor just because I don't have to remember to edit with sudo files that only have root permission for editing. Then I edit the dnf.com file. First I put the default answer for DNF is yes, because I just want to push enter when I do anything with the DNF. Then I put max parallel downloads to 20, which is maximum because I have fast internet connection. If you have slower internet connection, just put something less. I also put for DNF to choose the fastest mirrors and count time is by default false. I think it was once true by default, which is counting some kind of installation or something like that. I don't remember anymore, but I leave it, it here just in case Fedora changes its mind. As you can see, it might ask me if I want to save files using sudo. No need to reopen file with sudo privileges. And then I run the update of the whole system. Now it all goes much faster. After it's all updated, I add RPM Fusion free and non free for additional software to be at my disposal. Because Red Hat doesn't want to ship some very useful software and Fedora has to comply. But why these repositories are not added by default is beyond me. Either they are lazy or just mean, or both. Because they do ship RPM repositories for Steam and Nvidia. Oh well, I don't really care because I put it long time ago in my script and it all installs automatically. Next in line are flatpacks. On Fedora, I use flatpack only for one program and that is Signal. And I don't want to ever touch copper because that is wild, wild west just as AUR on Arch Linux. Next in line are multimedia codecs which for license reason can't be shipped on Fedora installation, but why couldn't the developers put a check mark during installation to be installed if you want them is again beyond me. Everything just goes to my scripts and is installed automatically. Let me just skip all this with the power of editing. And don't ask me what all this means because I never cared enough to go and search. I just copied it from Fedora documentation. I install VLC and NPV because none of the flavors of Fedora come with decent video players. And at least one of the two should come by default. 
fish is next in line because of course Linux world needs so much time to get rid of old st stuff like fish and nano. And of course I put it as default shell for my user right away. Yes, Git is not installed by default either. Next is app image launcher. For the current installation file, go to this page and then just download the RPM package. And install it. By the way, in my opinion, this is the package format that Linux community should have decided on simply looking from the user perspective. But no, they had to go with Flatpak. Such a shame. The last thing I do is to remove Firefox that comes with telemetry turn on and some other stupid stuff. And I just replaced it with LibreWolf. At least LibreWolf comes with uBlock, Origin, and Telemetry turned off, and some other nice things by default. You can install it as a flatpak or from their repo. I usually go for the repository installation. This is pretty much all that I think every flavor of Fedora should have by default. I of course install much more software afterwards and customize a bunch of other settings, but this should be enough for a more enjoyable experience of Fedora. That's all.